With the upcoming Legends ZA Pokemon game coming out next year, you know, what does the A mean in ZA? It's, it's probably referring to AZ, you know, Floet and everything like that. But, you know, some people think that it's actually referring to a new Pokemon that's going to come out that's not announced yet. Because it could be Zygarde and, you know, whatever other Pokemon that they're going to announce that starts with A. So here's a fan post about what the A Pokemon could be. I think this looks really cool. It kind of looks a little too similar to Rayquaza, though. That's, uh, you know, what I'm thinking immediately when I see this. But I do think it would be cool to have, like, a new dragon-looking snake type of Pokemon like that. I feel like that kind of fits the vibe pretty well. Or maybe, like, some sort of, like, uh, flower, floral-themed dragon type. I think that would be pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about this concept, though. I, I'm liking it a lot. And it'll be interesting to see what the what the A actually does mean in Legend ZA. I, I definitely think it means just ZA. I definitely think it's just AZ backwards. It just kind of makes sense. It's a cool play on words. Still goes in with the Generation 6 Kalo stuff, like the whole lore. I think I think it's going to be uh, a pretty cool storyline. I'm excited for Legend ZA. Let me know down below if you guys are excited for Legend ZA. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like, subscribing to the channel, and maybe even leaving a comment, you know, it really helps a lot, and I really appreciate the support. Right here, we got some leaks of some of the up coming trading card games this is really cool these these this artwork is insane i i don't know how these people do it but it's like the uh the terra type uh on a pokemon card i think it looks great it's bright colorful it's crazy new style type of design in a way i'm really liking it i don't really collect pokemon cards too much anymore just because they're so expensive it's like five dollars or six dollars a pack and it's like you know obvious you're not you're not guaranteed a good card I just miss the days when they're a little bit cheaper. I remember a couple of years ago, back when I was graduating high school in 2020, there they were doing like sales and you could buy two packs for four dollars. It was crazy. I, I was it was nuts. I, I was addicted to buying Pokemon cards then. I wish the prices were still that good. And I'm sure you guys have all heard about all the emulator stuff going on the App Store. Like apparently Apple allows you to post or put on emulators on the App Store, something like that. And apparently somebody created a 3DS emulator that can be played on the iPhone. And apparently it plays the games at full speed on the iPhone 15 Pro or newer, but the older models are not gonna be able to get the full speed. So, you know, I have an iPhone 12, I definitely won't be getting that full speed, but apparently this emulator is gonna be $5 in the app store. It's probably gonna get removed. I'm assuming Nintendo's probably gonna remove this. I can't imagine this actually staying, but it looks really good. Like, I can't believe that that's even possible to put on an iPhone. It's definitely going to change the future of gaming, that like mobile gaming has grown in, in a way that's like you can kind of rely on your phone more than your console sometimes. Like for Christmas this year, or last year I guess I should say, I got the Sony Backbone and I could literally play PlayStation, Xbox, Game Pass, Steam Pass, or whatever it's called. I could play so much on my phone and it just emulates or like reflects the screen from the Xbox, which I'm sure, you know, this is, this is older technology. I mean, this has been out for a couple of years, so I'm sure all of you guys have already done this or seen this or heard of it before. But to me, it's truly crazy because when I try to emulate or uh, screencast whatever my Xbox from my phone, like from the Xbox app, it doesn't work. But if I use the Backbone, the Sony Backbone app, I can clear, I can play like any Xbox Game Pass game on my phone, and I know it's not playing natively on my phone. Like it's 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 reflecting it from the cloud essentially, but it's crazy that I can actually control a video game like that on my phone. So I'm I'm just curious to see how the future of mobile gaming is gonna be. Like one day I'm assuming that we're gonna be able to play Call of Duty on the phone with some good graphics. I know I'm saying that when there's already Call of Duty Mobile, and you know you could just screencast or i don't even know what it's called i can't i can't remember what it's called like mirror your phone from your console to you know play any console game but like i mean natively play a modern day call of duty game with amazing graphics no lag it just you know what i mean like like you're actually playing on your playstation one day it's going to reach that that point probably within the near future because technology is moving fast now but anyways what do you guys think about these crazy 3ds emulator leaks are you guys excited about this? Personally, I don't really care too much. I don't think I'm going to get it. I actually like to play my stuff on the native device more so. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I like to actually have the game and play it on the DS or 3DS or, you know, the PlayStation 1 or 2, whatever. But that, that's just me. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I think this is pretty cool for the people that are going to use it, but I think it's pretty crazy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.
Gracias.